Hello, and welcome to our online information session. My name is Liz McDonough, and I am the program director for the certificate program in writing, as well as our other writing and editing programs here at UC Berkeley Extension. Today you'll hear about the benefits of the program, as well as information about how the certificate is structured, course options, and more. If you have any questions during the presentation, please go ahead and send them in. We'll do our best to answer your questions as we go through this presentation. So let's get started. The certificate program in writing is designed to offer a more structured academic path for those interested in all forms of writing, especially creative writing. The program began in 2008, and we currently have 361 plus certificate students as well as graduates. The certificate was developed with input from directors of several MFA programs in the area, including San Francisco State, Mills College, USF, and St. Mary's, and is reviewed and approved by the UC Berkeley English Department. There are three primary areas of focus in the program. Strengthening writing mechanics, deepening understanding of writing craft through close reading of literature, and the development of a portfolio of original writing. There are a wide range of students in this program, representing various ages and backgrounds, and they come with different levels of writing experience. Many students are returning to school after being out for a long time and are exploring or revisiting an interest in writing. Other students are interested in formalizing their training with an eye toward publication or perhaps applying to an MFA program. By being a part of our certificate, you're joining a community of writers, and as a result, you're developing a network with fellow students and instructors. It's an opportunity to join a group of like-minded people and receive peer support. You'll hear about upcoming literary events and readings, and as a member of the program, you can be part of our mentorship program, internship program, or become an editor for our literary journal, Ursa Minor. You learn from expert instructors who provide you with constructive feedback at all stages of your writing. They've been through the publication process. They've gotten rejection letters. They've gotten publication letters. They understand what to pitch to an editor, how to pitch your story. Through lecture, discussion, and small, thoughtfully facilitated workshops, they will encourage you to experiment and push yourself to check out different kinds of writing before you settle into one or more genres, and to develop an ongoing writing practice. Ultimately, the goal of the program is to develop a body of work and concentrate on writing for yourself. So how does UC Berkeley Extension put this all together? UC Berkeley Extension is the continuing education arm of the flagship campus UC Berkeley. Since 1891, we've been assisting students in reaching their professional goals and accomplishments. We offer more than 65 professional certificates and specialized programs, and more than 2,000 classroom and online courses, with 38,000 enrollments each year. We pride ourselves on academic excellence. All of our courses and certificates such as this writing program, are approved by the appropriate campus department. Specifically, this program is approved and supported by the English department. Our instructors, who bring their real-world experience to the classroom, are also approved by campus. So when you enroll in a UC Berkeley Extension course, you are guaranteed a real-world professional education that meets Berkeley standards. So let's focus on the writing certificate. The curriculum for the certificate is comprised of three required courses and five electives. 
You'll take two electives from our literature category and three electives from our writing workshops. In total, you'll receive 16 semester units, which translates to 240 hours of instruction. Courses run 10 to 12 weeks. Most students take one course per semester and complete the program in two to three years, but you have a maximum of five years to complete all the coursework. Many courses are offered in both online and traditional classroom formats. It is designed to be a part-time program, so there's no need to drop everything and go back to school. Also, you are not required to enroll in the certificate program prior to taking any of the courses. All of our courses are open to the general public, unless there is a stated prerequisite. A great way to start your studies is by taking one of the three required courses in the program. These courses help lay the foundation for your writing. They help you understand different writing genres, provide you with opportunities to experiment with different types of writing, and help you improve your fundamental writing skills. In the craft of reading, you'll learn how to read with the eyes of a writer. You'll develop an understanding of what makes great literature work. Class readings include novel excerpts, short stories, and memoirs, from classics to contemporary treasures. Weekly writing assignments emphasize analytical responses to the works, while providing the chance to practice writing strategies revealed through close reading. In the craft of writing, you'll learn the elements fundamental to creative writing, including imagery, voice, character, scene, summary, and setting. You will apply these elements to fiction, poetry, and creative nonfiction genres. Through weekly readings and discussions, you learn and develop skills and techniques to help you pinpoint what makes a piece of writing memorable. In the Writing Skills Workshop, you'll draft, write, and revise your own work read literary essays as examples of effective syntax and coherent structure, share work in a supportive focused workshop environment, and review common grammar pitfalls. These three courses may be taken in any order. You are also welcome to start with any of the elective course offerings, if you prefer, just to get a sense of what our learning community is like. Your five electives allow you to tailor the program to your specific writing interests. You don't have to lock yourself into, for example, a fiction writing track or a poetry track. You can do that if you like, or you can take a variety of courses and try lots of different things. The courses listed here are examples from our large inventory of electives. You can see a more complete list of electives on our certificates webpage, including those that are available online or in the traditional classroom and class schedules. So who will be teaching you the ins and outs of writing? As previously mentioned, all instructors have a significant amount of experience in teaching as well as publication history. The classes are small. There's lots of individual attention. They are passionate about sharing their knowledge with you and helping you achieve your writing goals. What's more, they're also approved by UC Berkeley, ensuring that you get the academic and creative rigor you would expect from a top public university in the country. Some of our instructors include Lindsay Crittenden, who is an Extension Honored Instructor. She is the author of The View From Below, Stories, and the memoir, The Water Will Hold You. Lindsay's award-winning short fiction has appeared in Arroyo Literary Review, Glimmer Train, Bellingham Review, Pisgah Review, and elsewhere. She has also published articles and personal essays in the New York Times, Real Simple, Image, and Best American Spiritual Writing. 
Lorianne Doyle is also an Extension Honored Instructor. She is the author of World Gone Missing. Stories in this book have won the Alligator Juniper National Fiction Award, as well as nominations for Best New American Voices and the Pushcart Prize. Lori's stories and essays have also been published in the Los Angeles Review, Timber, Jabberwock Review, Under the Sun, and elsewhere. She co-founded the Babylon Salon, San Francisco's long-running literary reading series, and has been a writing instructor with us for nine years. Because so many of our students are working professionals who want Berkeley's academic quality, we offer courses in the evenings, on weekends, and online so that you can continue to work while you hone your writing. If you take a classroom-based course, you'll be learning in one of two facilities in Berkeley located a couple of blocks away from campus or at our San Francisco campus in the Financial District. Our classroom-based courses are offered on weeknights, generally running once a night over a period of 10 weeks. We also offer this program online so that you can continue to work while you study. Our online courses are offered in two different formats. Fixed date courses have a set start and end date, in the same way as a classroom course. Fixed date courses usually run about three months. We also offer ongoing continuous enrollment courses. These allow you to enroll at any time to begin your course. You progress through the course at your own pace, and you have six months to complete your coursework. You are not required to be at your computer at any given time. You can log on to your computer and do your coursework at 11 p.m. in your pajamas if you're so inclined. All of your assignments and exams are submitted and returned to you electronically. You're going to become a master of using track changes. Your materials are always available to you, and the courses are facilitated by an instructor. So as you work your way through each module, the instructor will facilitate discussion on what you just learned. On the discussion boards, your instructor will give you assignments to complete and other classroom activities to engage in. These group discussions, forum posts, and instructor posed questions all provide a rich context for opportunities to interact with your fellow classmates. You might be wondering, how much time will I be spending on my studies? As a general rule, you should plan on spending at least six to eight hours per week on top of the time you'll spend in the actual class reading through modules and being active on the discussion boards and so forth. Each course is fairly demanding time-wise, so we recommend that you just take one course at a time, unless your schedule would allow you to put in more hours per week. At the end of all your hard work and studying, you can earn a certificate. Earning the certificate is a simple process. Register for the program and pay the non-refundable registration fee. You should do this before starting your third course. You then go on to complete all of the required courses with a grade of C or better within the five-year time frame. We recommend that you complete a minimum of two courses per year to maintain good academic progress. Probably one of the biggest benefits of the program is that you pay as you go. You don't have to pay for the entire certificate at once. You pay for each course one at a time. Our prices vary based on the course. In total, taking all of your needed courses costs around $4,800, and that does not include your textbooks or the registration fee. Once you've completed all of your courses, you'll receive your certificate. Many of you are wondering, what do your graduates go on to do? We're always super proud of our students' success.
Many of our instructors share stories of former students who have gone on to an MFA or have been published. Thomas Farley was already a published writer of nonfiction for magazines, newspapers, and websites before coming to Extension. His first course with us was Creative Nonfiction Workshop because he was looking to bring something more to his writing. He told us, during the critiquing of each other's work, classmates often develop points that were not brought out by the instructor or even by oneself. And it was always interesting to read what the other students were working on. Such a learning environment is good for any writer. This is an exercise class, and a writer needs to do the exercises. Before coming to Extension, Lisa Ridiau was having a hard time getting her children's picture book published. So she started looking for a formal program to strengthen her work. Since completing the certificate, she's had two essays and two short stories published. She's currently studying for her MFA in writing for children and young adults at Hamline University. You can read more about these two and many other graduates on our Voices blog on the website. So how do you get started? If you are new to Extension, you'll need to create a free student account through our website. You'll use this account to enroll and pay for your courses, find out about your grades, and track your progress through the program. Then start by taking one of the required courses or an elective that interests you. You are welcome to take individual courses, but if you want to work toward the certificate, please start with one of the required courses. We also suggest filling out our newsletter sign-up form. You'll receive monthly emails about upcoming writing courses and new blog posts. Thank you for submitting your questions, many of which we've been able to answer during the presentation. Here are some more that have come in. How many courses can I take per semester? This will depend upon the specific courses you're signing up for and the time you have to do this. Sometimes people will sign up for one course per semester and that's perfectly fine for them because that's all the time they have. Some people will take two or three courses per semester. Again, this is easier if you're taking a five-week course as opposed to a 10-week course. There's no limit. It just depends on your schedule and what works for you. Tell me more about the mentorship program. The mentorship program is available to students in the certificate program. And essentially what happens is you come in and you meet with me and we talk about what you're trying to do with your writing, what your goals are, and then you will select from our program an instructor to work with one-on-one. -on -one. You will send that instructor some samples of your work. They will read the work and send you some feedback. And then a time is arranged for the two of you to sit down together and take a look at that feedback and talk about some future steps to take with your writing. This is something people do when they're close to finishing the program and they really connected with their instructor in, for example, advanced fiction writing. And they really want to work with that instructor and have a one-on-one -on -one meeting. It's also a great capstone to the program because you have this body of work but you're not sure where to go next. The mentorship gives you a chance to sift through your work and your thoughts about next steps, which may or may not be an MFA program. Can students study in one genre or can they pick and choose? You can study as many different types of writing as you'd like. If you want to focus on one particular type of writing, that's fine, but you are not required to do so. How much time should I expect to put into each class? The basic formula we use is for every hour in class, you should expect to spend two hours outside of class doing coursework. This will vary according to the class and fluctuates as the semester progresses. We state that you should plan on spending at least six to eight hours per week, but a safe estimate might be closer to eight to 10 hours, sometimes more per week. For example, class meetings often include responding to a writing prompt. 
frequently providing you with a draft of something to build on later. Each week, you're going to be doing a certain amount of reading and writing outside of class, preparing for workshops in which you're reading the work of your peers and preparing to give them substantive comments. And then there's the time you'll need to put into your own writing. Again, all of this will be dependent on the time you have, but essentially, the more time you put into class, the more you'll get out of it. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today. If you have any additional questions about this program, here's my contact information. Thank you again for taking the time to learn about our program and course offerings. I look forward to seeing you in one of our classrooms or online.